では帝国を過ぎましたので公開セッションの方を開始いたしますここからはパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのパゴーシュ会議事務総長にマイクロボーを渡します、like、プロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・コッタ・ラムジーのプロフェッサーパウロ・
to this 61st conference of Pugwash. We began our day this morning with a ceremonial presentation of a symbol of peace. The Nobel Peace Prize that was awarded to Pugwash in 1995. A replica of that was donated to the Nagasaki Museum as well as to the Hiroshima Museum as an expression of our admiration for the courage and the persistence of the Hibakusha in their efforts to achieve nuclear disarmament. Now we begin the substantive part of our conference and the theme of our conference is Nagasaki's voice, remember your humanity. This is a year of anniversaries. We have the 70th anniversary of the World Organization, the United Nations. It is also the 70th anniversary, sadly, of what happened in Hiroshima and Nagasaki in 1945. And it is our determination that never again should such a catastrophe happen in the world. And we have therefore dedicated our efforts since the inception of our conference in 1957 to nuclear disarmament. But our origins go back to 1955, to the manifesto signed by Albert Einstein and Lord Bertrand Russell, which contains the philosophical message which has inspired us. And that philosophical message emphasized the bond of humanity that combines all of us together and interconnects the world in what we are today on one planet so that we can ensure that the planet is not destroyed by the use of nuclear weapons or by climate change or by any other catastrophe. And so we also celebrate the 20th anniversary of the award of the Nobel Peace Prize to Pugwash. And it is because of this coincidence of several anniversaries that we thought we should have our conference this year in Nagasaki. And like the Secretary General, I would like to congratulate Pugwash Japan and in particular the Nagasaki authorities for their cooperation in ensuring the success of this conference. It is now my great pleasure to invite Under Secretary General Kim Won Su to read out the message from the Secretary General of the United Nations to our conference. This is the message of Ban Ki moon, and it will be read out by the Under Secretary General. Please, sir. Thank you, uh, Mayor Tawe and Vice Minister Kikawada, President Dana Pala, and Secretary General Kota Ramusino. Uh, it's my honor to read the message from the Secretary General Ban Ki moon of the United Nations. Now, the message uh, we read as follows Quote, I'm pleased to send this message of support to the 61st Pogwash Conference on Science and World Affairs. I applaud your choice of the significant venue of Nagasaki, a global symbol of human resilience in surmounting senseless tragedy. I will never forget my encounters with the Hibakusha who have survived the nuclear attacks against Japan, inspired by their powerful advocacy, I have repeatedly challenged world leaders to heed the calls of these courageous individuals to finally rid the world of nuclear weapons. In this effort, I am inspired by the visit of His Holiness Pope Francis to the United Nations last September. In an impassioned speech support, supporting our work across the global agenda, he called on international community 
in striving for peace and security to always remember the human face of conflict. This year marks the 70th anniversary of the first and last use of nuclear weapons in war, as well as the 70th anniversary of the United Nations. It is a time for reflection and action. The United Nations had just succeeded in adopting the visionary 2030 agenda, along with a set of ambitious but achievable sustainable development goals in order to achieve truly transformative progress we are aiming for a universal meaningful climate change agreement at the climate change conference in paris this coming december now the world must refocus and be energize its attention on another existential issue, nuclear weapons, the most perilous arms ever invented by humankind. Only their complete abolition can remove the dangers they pose to humanity. I urge the international community to find common ground and come together to achieve our shared goals and our dream of a world free of nuclear weapons. In this effort, we count on the invaluable contribution of the Pogowash Conference. With its bold mission and proud history, the United Nations fully supports you in our common quest for a safe, secure, and sustainable world. In this spirit, I wish you great success. I thank you so much. Um, this one goes uh, participants and participants, I would like to uh, proceed the meeting. Uh, my name is Suzuki, a chair of the organizing committee of the 61st Pagosh World Conference on Science and World Affairs. My English first for the Pagoshai. Welcome to Nagasaki, distinguished fellow Pagoshite, on behalf of organizing committee of Pagosh Conference on Science and World Affairs for the 61st Conference, I'd like to give you a few words. As all of you witnessed this morning, Nagasaki is a special city, as you can see, with a beautiful landscape, and some of you have already tasted delicious food and friendly citizens, a mix of Western and Eastern culture. But most of all, of course, Nagasaki is the last city that suffered that big bomb attack on the Earth. And I, we believe it should stay as it is. I personally moved from Tokyo to Nagasaki one and a half ago, and it has been an extraordinary experience personally and also as a researcher to be a citizen of Nagasaki City. I sincerely hope all of you have the same experience even though it's only a week to be here during your stay in Nagasaki. Welcome again. From now on, I will speak in Japanese as I need to address my deliver my message to the citizens of Nagasaki. Nagasaki Shimin no Minasama. Citizens of Nagasaki and the general participants. Uh, uh, welcome to the 61st Pagosh Conference on Science and World Affairs. I welcome you all. Uh, this uh, conference. 
actually reflects the uh, very enthusiastic aspirations by Hibakusha toward the free world free of weapons, uh, and also uh, became possible due to your warm support of the Paris Conference. I take this opportunity today, by the way, thanks to all of you in inviting this uh, conference to Nagasaki. Uh, uh, well, uh, took me uh, took us a long time. Three years ago, I was still in Tokyo, uh, and three years ago, uh, the Research Center for Nuclear uh, Weapon Revolution, or RIGNA, was established in Nagasaki University. They gave us impetus. Uh, for hosting the conference. The minute I heard this news, the then director of the Rekuna, uh, uh, I contacted him and I asked whether the Nagasaki could host the conference. Uh, that was three years ago. Uh, well, I, I also remember I took this uh, uh, possibility with the uh, President Dalapala at the time uh, to take that offer uh, into consideration. After that, I became a uh, director uh, at uh, RECTA. Uh, uh, and, and the vice uh, uh, president of the university uh, went to Turkey, and uh, uh, also Dr. Katamide, Mayor Taiwe, uh, Governor uh, Nakamura. Uh, all of them uh, really generally say accepted the idea to host, Nagasaki, uh, to host the Pakash Conference in Nagasaki. And now uh, we are witnessing uh, the opening of the conference. Uh, we, it was not uh, uh, possible without efforts of a press Shikawa and the council members uh, of Pagwa Shishpan and uh, uh, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and rectors and speakers who will speak before you uh, in this conference. And, and uh, I couldn't, it would be remiss if I not to mention all the people sitting uh, in the front rows of this uh, conference. Uh, last, uh, well, uh, uh, the blue jacket uh, was mentioned. Uh, uh, the Pagwash blue jacket uh, uh, was mentioned, but uh, those are the people from Nagasaki University and citizens and the volunteers uh, who actually support us uh, in conducting this conference with the blue jackets. If you have any questions, please um, come to uh, the uh, ladies and gentlemen wearing the blue jacket. With no further ado, we would like to start uh, the conference. Let's work together to discuss and share the innovative ideas for achieving our ultimate goal of eliminating nuclear weapons and war. Thank you very much for your attention. So we have our messages and the message by the Prime Minister Abe is going to be read by Professor Takahara, the member of the organizing committee. I would like to read the message on behalf of the Prime Minister. Uh, on opening of the 61st Pagwash Conference, I extend the words of congratulation to all of you. The uh, Pagwash Conference has a high standing uh, for providing meaningful discussions and recommendations uh, on uh, non proliferation and early uh, realization of eliminations of nuclear weapons. Uh, this year marks the 17th year since uh, the dropping of a bombings and the 60th year anniversary of Russell Einstein Manifesto. The holding of this uh, conference this year in Eibam Nagasaki is quite significant as the world reading as scientists and experts can see and understand quickly uh, the reality uh, of the consequence of the use of nuclear weapons and uh, thus will be able to deliver strong and new recommendations for a world free of nuclear weapons to the international community. Unfortunately, 
We failed to adopt the final document, a 2015 APTU conference held in May this year, leaving us with no future guideline for nuclear disarmament and non-proliferation. I hope this Bywatch conference will give a renewed momentum towards a world free of nuclear weapons. On August the 6th and 9th this year, I uh, visited Hiroshima and Nagasaki to attend peace memorial ceremonies, and uh, those experiences describe deeply in my mind the value of peace. I reaffirm my conviction that Japan plays a leading role in international efforts toward a world free of nuclear weapons. As the only country to have survived from a peace and the country upholding the free nuclear weapons, principles, as the host country of G7, Japan holds a foreign minister's meeting in Hiroshima in April next year. Japan will make its utmost efforts to realize a world free of nuclear weapons, calling upon both nuclear weapon states and non-nuclear weapon states to work together. Lastly, I hope meaningful discussion to be taken place by the participants of the conference here in Nagasaki so that we will never let the memories of Hibakusha experience fade away and pass on their strong determination to achieve world of free nuclear, nuclear weapons across the borders and generations. I wish you great success. In November the 1st, 2015, Prime Minister of Japan, Shinzo Abe. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Hodo Nakamura, the governor of Nagasaki Prefecture. Please allow me to say a few words in Japanese. Uh, at the outset of the 61st Bagwash Conference on Science and uh, World Affairs, I'd like to welcome President Janet uh, Danapara, uh, distinguished scientists from the world over, and government officials to Nagasaki, who have traveled long distances. I would uh, also like to express my heartfelt congratulations on the successful opening of the conference. The first published conference was held triggered by Russell Einstein Manifesto in 1955, and this marks the 61st conference of uh, Pagwash conferences. Through dialogue across device, Pagwash conferences contributed to planning and uh, establishment of CTBT and NPT, and in 1995, Nobel Prize was uh, awarded for their efforts to diminish the part played by uh, nuclear arms in international politics and in the longer run to eliminate such arms. Let me pay my deep respect to the efforts of published conferences. This year marks the 60th anniversary of Russell Einstein Manifesto and the 20th anniversary since the conference received the Nobel Peace Prize. Here in Nagasaki, in particular, and this year is the 70th anniversary of the atomic bombing. I think it is very significant that the published conference is held in this landmark year in Nagasaki with participants from all over the world. As you are all aware, on August 9th, 70 years ago, an atomic bomb exploded in the mid-air above Urakami. Intense heat rays and blast, a massive radiation robbed the 74,000 people of their lives, turning Nagasaki burnt out ruins. Now, 70 years later, 
甚大な被害を受けた町はこんにちは平和を願う美しい町に生まれ変わりましたかけがえのない家族を亡くされた人々の気持ちには今なお深く多くの方々が苦しんで,被爆者は平均年齢80歳を超えた人々が多くの方々が苦しんで平均年齢80歳を超えた人々が多くの方々が苦しんで平均年齢80歳を超えた人々が多くの方々が苦しんで平均年齢80歳を超えた人々が多くの方々が苦しんで平均年齢80歳を超えた人々が多くの方々が苦しんで平均年齢80歳を超えた人々が多くの方々が苦しんで平均年齢80歳を超えた人々が多くの方々が苦しんで平均年齢80歳を超えた人々また世界の各地で今なお戦争や対立が続くなど世界の平和の平和と安定の実現には至っていない状況にあります。こうした中、in such circumstances, ここ長崎の地に世界のあらゆる立場の国から科学者や政府関係者などが集い議論が交わされ、その成果として長崎政権が世界に発信される言葉は世界に廃絶的廃絶的廃絶的廃絶的廃絶的廃絶的廃絶的廃絶的廃絶的廃絶的廃絶的廃絶的廃絶的廃絶的廃絶的廃絶的廃絶的廃絶的廃絶的廃絶的廃絶的廃絶的廃絶的廃絶的廃絶的廃絶的廃絶的その私たち長崎県民は今回の会議を契機として一日も早い。皆様こんにちは。Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. 日本語でご挨拶をさせていただきます。Please allow me to make a speech in Japanese. A mayor Taue of Nagasaki City, as has been mentioned by Mr. Suzuki on the necktie. Well, the ties that I presented for that, I feel so overjoyed. And、uh, I was watching the ties, and、uh, I'm the person who presented neckties. And I realized that I don't have any neckties myself. So, I just, so I'm so sorry that I'm not able to wear the same tie as uh, um, the Dr. Ganapara and、uh, Dr. Suzuki. Now, for the occasion of the 61st Pagwash Conference on Science and World Affairs, Uh, the, um, uh, uh, Kim Wons,、um, uh, the Undersecretary of the United Nations, and,、um, and also uh, we have the,、um, uh, Mr. Kishida, the,、um, uh, for, the Foreign Minister of the Foreign Ministry of Japan, who are to、uh, present speeches. And also,、um, we are welcoming the members of the Pagwash Conferences on behalf of the 430,000 population of Nagasaki. I'd like to extend my heartfelt welcome.、Uh, this is really the 70th year. Anniversary of the atomic bombing, and also the 60 years since the uh, um, the Russell Einstein Manifesto, and the 20th anniversary of the Nobel Peace Prize.、Um, Um, on that, on that、uh, important occasion, you are having the、uh, Pagwash Conference, which is really indeed a great pleasure for us. And from the experiences,、uh, experiences of atomic bombing, but h i b a k s h a is really、um, uh, convinced that、uh, those experiences should not be repeated by any. 
body in the world. That is really the um, starting point of our peace activities. And that is really the basic philosophy of ours. And that is the appeal that we have been making for such a long time. Uh, Hiroshima and Nagasaki, it's not enough for Hiroshima and Nagasaki to tell stories about the um, atomic bombing. And it, with only that, we are able to abolish nuclear weapons. This is the experience of the humankind. This is the issue should be, uh, that should be shared by all the humankind. And all the people who live on Earth, there are things that we can do. That is to uh, work for the abol uh, uh, abolishment of nuclear weapons. And the Pagash Conference says the scientists have been pursuing what they can do uh, to help it. Have that realize that objective and um, PTBT and um, also the uh, NPT and also the establishment of non uh, nuclear free weapon free zones. Um, those uh, the, in order to achieve the um, world without nuclear weapons, a uh, nuclear free world, and you have worked really strenuously for that, and I'd like to pay my due respect. Um, deep respect for your activities thus far. And here in Nagasaki, well, the Nagasaki Declaration is going to be produced at the end of the uh, Pagwash Conference. That is really also indeed a great pleasure um, for citizens of Nagasaki. Uh, about 450 years ago, the port was open to the outside world. And then since that time, in Japan, um, Nagasaki has maintained a very a special history. During the time of seclusion era, um, the Nagasaki was the only port open to the world, and we have uh, received in outside cultures, outside people, people from overseas. And also at the same time, we have been able to learn a lot from that experiences. Now, um, the one thing we have learned is that exchanges can bring about peace, and exchanges can bring about new values. Those are the things that we have experienced from our history. So the um, uh, conference, Pagwash Conference is now being held in uh, uh, Nagasaki. So for the uh, establishment of the world, peace, I think we'll be able to um, develop and create the new values for that. And and we often use the phrase in uh, Na uh, Nagasaki, we often say, no more Hiroshima, no more Nagasaki. But here in Nagasaki, another phrase which is valued here is that, peace from Nagasaki. We really have to start peace from Nagasaki, disseminate, convey the message of peace. And we really have to develop the, Nagasaki, uh, develop the city of Nagasaki as the city which can create peace. And the peace from Nagasaki, really, I, 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 I seriously hope that uh, Pagwash Conference can be the embodiment of uh, the phrase peace from Nagasaki. And I hope that uh, you'll be able to uh, enjoy the uh, successful conclusion of the uh, Pagwash Conference. And also, I'd like to extend my heartfelt greeting to those all the people who have been involved for the unholding the conference. Thank you very much. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the president of Nagasaki University. My name is Katamine. And uh, we have uh, fantastic uh, guests. And we have uh, revered, uh, revered uh, scientists. Welcome uh, to Nagasaki. And welcome to Nagasaki University. I'd like to extend my heartfelt welcome to all of you. Uh, from the world over, we have uh, welcomed you here in Nagasaki. And the uh, 61st Pagwash Conference of Science and World Affairs is being held. Right, this is really the rare academia which experienced the um, atomic bombing, that is Nagasaki University. So once again, it is really a great honor and a pleasure for us to have you here. 70 years ago, that's um, the August 9th, 1945, uh, Nagasaki Medical School, this venue where the Nagasaki Medical School was located, right here, one atomic bomb exploded on the campus and the hospital instantaneously burned to ashes. And approximately 900 students, uh, the faculty members as well as health professionals, died. And then after that, the survived um, people 
With the help and efforts of them, Nagasaki University has been rehabilitated, and we have become the um, comprehensive university which has say uh, nine departments altogether. We have the uh, very sad, uh, tragic experiences of atomic bomb. And based upon that experience, our fundamental mission at Nagasaki University is the abolition of nuclear weapons and also the realization of the everlasting world peace. In particular, uh, immediately after the atomic bombing, we have experienced the um, providing support to the uh, atomic, survi atomic survivors. And that um, uh, experience has been succeeded by the Atomic Bomb Disease Institute. And we have been able to uh, develop um, a competent human resources based upon the experiences in the field of uh, uh, hibaksha medicine and radi radiation health risk um, related re uh, researches. But, um, um, acute uh, damages including burns and acute you know, leukemia. Um, that's on psychological effects as well as uh, carcinogenic risks continue throughout the lives of Hibakshi. And we have uh, delivered the message that uh, uh, deliver the uh, scientific, scientific evidence of uh, humanitarian impact of uh, atomic bombs and uh, Nagasaki, Hiroshima, Hibakusha, and also we have Hibakusha in Chernobyl, and we have contributed to the um, advancement of medicine uh, for the uh, road Hibakusha, and also we have uh, played an important role uh, for the um, examining the health risks uh, for uh, the uh, Fukushima citizens under the uh, nuclear accident of uh, Fukushima. In 2009, the President Obama made a speech in Prague, and um, with that, um, that, encouraged by his speech, uh, we have decided to strengthen the uh, approach for a nuclear abolition. And with that uh, philosophy, uh, I, you know, in April 2012, we established the Research Center for Nuclear, we nuclear Weapons Abolition in Nagasaki University. This this is really the uh, only uh, research organization which has the uh, nuclear weapons abolition in its name. And uh, Mr. Suzuki is the director of uh, RECNA. And um, uh, since its inauguration, uh, three years have passed. And as a think tank of uh, Nagasaki, the bond area, it has been taking, uh, it has played a really important role. And also, in this past uh, June, at the NP conference, uh, the uh, um, uh, Northeast Asia nuclear weapon free zone concept was um, presented as policy recommendation. Seven years, uh, seven years have passed since the atomic bombing in Nagasaki. And, uh, the Hibakshas have been the symbol of nuclear abolitions, and they have taken initiative in the uh, trend and the current of the uh, nuclear abolition. But the average age of Hibakshi have exceeded 80 years old. Experiences, the passions, the feelings of Hibakshi really have to be passed on. And in order to uh, realize the world without nuclear weapons, we really have to develop the um, human resources for the next generation. This is what we also have to do at Nagasaki University. As an academia of uh, a bombed area, um, the young people have gathered at uh, Retina to study, discuss, and disseminate information and deliver messages with the young, with the youth with, of the road over, which is really encouraging to me. The city has passed since the uh, Russia Einstein Manifesto. The structure of the world have drastically changed, and uh, we humankind are faced with the um, global scale issues, number of them, and also the uh, life science and uh, information science have been developed tremendously, and the uh, relations between the science and the human society have become uh, become much closer, and also become very complicated. So uh, we're actually on uh, the uh, convenience which is brought about by the uh, science technology is expected by the society, but the society has become the behemoth uh, stakeholder, um, emerges as um, stake, uh, the human stakeholder in front of the scientists. And also the development of the science technology itself has become a barrier for sustainable development. The risks of war is not diminishing, and also the new weapons have been developed one after another. So the uh, wars, humanitarian impact of the wars have become even larger. And the consequences of the uh, NP conference, when you look at that, we are not able to see the clear path for the uh, nuclear weapons 
has evolution. So uh, here, at this time point in time, the uh, scientists are expected to have the soaring uh, world views and ethics. Compared with the uh, 60 years ago, the roles of published conference has become even larger and going to become large. And the uh, Nagasaki Conference and hopefully um, become the turning point for the uh, nuclear evolution, nuclear weapons evolution, and also the uh, realization of everlasting world peace and the uh, sustainable development for the human beings. And Nagasaki University helps to play a part for that. Now, um, hopefully this uh, conference uh, at this conference, the uh, world scientists would get to know the actions and the feelings and passions of uh, Nagasaki University. So that uh, hopefully we'll be able to collaborate with the uh, scientists the world over at Nagasaki University. Uh, lastly, I'd like to wish for the great success of the uh, Pagwash Nagasaki Conference. I'd like to conclude my greetings. Thank you very much for kind attention. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. I am Hitoshi Kikawada, Parliamentary Vice Minister for Foreign Affairs. I am very glad to attend this Pagosh Conference on Science and World Affairs in Nagasaki. On behalf of Foreign Minister Kishida, Mr. Kishida was very keen to uh, participate in this conference. However, he found himself uh, unable to uh, participate in this conference uh, due to uh, his uh, unescapable or diplomatic uh, duties. He told me that uh, uh, he felt uh, really sorry for being absent uh, from this uh, conference and asked me uh, to convey uh, his best wishes to the, all, the conference, uh, all the participants here. Now, I would like to read out Minister Kishida's message. Ambassador Jayanta Danapara, President of Pagwash Conference, Professor Paolo Cottarabugino, Secretary General of Pagwash Conference. Excellencies, dis distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, I would like to express my gratitude to President Danapara and those who have worked hard to make this conference possible. Pagwash Conference has a high standard for providing various, various meaningful discussion and recommendation on non-proliferation non and early realization of elimination of nuclear weapons. Thus, holding of the Pag Pagwash Conference in Nagasaki in this milestone year of the 70th year since atomic bombing play, plays a very important role in renewing the determination towards the world free of nuclear weapons. Nagasaki has achieved amazing modernization after World War II. Today it's the, it is difficult to imagine that this place was full of ruins and uh, debris. 70 years ago, atomic bombs were dropped here in Nagasaki and my hometown in Hiroshima and took more, uh, took more than 200,000 precious lives in a blink of an eye. Those who had initially survived later developed health problem, and many of them subsequently lost their lives. 
Ladies and gentlemen, this morning we have had testimonies of an atomic bomb survivor, Hibakusha. He also visited the Peace Park, Atomic Bomb Museum, and Shiroyama Elementary School. Through these experiences, we have learned reality of the consequences of the use of nuclear weapon. I noticed that there are hibakushas attending here today. The average age of hibakusha has become over 20, 20 uh, oh, uh, sorry, the uh, average age of hibakusha has become over 80. We cannot let the memories of their experience fade away. We need to pass on their determination to achieve the total elimination across the borders and the generations. As for Japan's policies on nuclear determination, uh, nuclear disarmament and non-proliferation, we consider it necessary to take a tangible and practical approach in light of severe security situation and based on recognition of existing risk of nuclear weapon in front of us. And as a fundamental starting point, through understanding of humanitarian impact of nuclear weapons is necessary. Ladies and gentlemen, many politicians and experts from various countries are attending this conference. As foreign minister of Japan, from a city devastated by an atomic bomb, I sincerely wish that more leaders learn the reality of the consequences of the use of nuclear weapons, including those from the states that possess nuclear weapons. We will continue to call on world leaders to visit the cities devastated by the atomic bombings. Japan has been playing a leading role in international efforts towards the world free of nuclear weapons as the only country to have ever suffered atomic bombs as well as the country which upholds the three non-nuclear principles. From September this year, Japan assumed a co-coordinatorship with Kazakhstan on facilitating the entry into force of the uh, Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty, CTBT. Furthermore, as a host country of G7, Japan holds a foreign minister meetings in Hiroshima next April. Through these opportunities, Japan will make its utmost, utmost efforts to realize a world free of nuclear weapons, calling upon both nuclear weapon states and non-nuclear weapon states to work together. Ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, we failed to adopt the final document in the 2015 NPT Review Conference held in May this year, which left us without further guideline for nuclear 
disarmament and non proliferation. However, we will never fail to make effort to realize a world free from nuclear weapons. Recently, Japan has submitted a draft resolution entitled United Action with Renewed Determination Towards the Total Elimination of Nuclear Weapons to the First Committee of the United Nations General Assembly. In this milestone year of 70th year, since the drop of atomic bombs, this draft resolution calls upon all states to work together with renewed determination toward our goal by steady building up tangible and practical measures. The draft resolution is scheduled to be adopted tomorrow at our earliest and we believe that its adoption will enhance momentum to realize a world free of nuclear weapons. What we need to do is, is to make further effort to strengthen the NPT regime so that next NPT review conference in 2020 will be a success. Japan is determined to continue to, uh, to make utmost effort in this regard. Ladies and gentlemen, in addition to the 70th year after atomic bombings, this year marks the 60 anniversaries of Russell Einstein Manifest and the 20th anniversary of Pagwish Conference winning the Nobel Peace Prize. This morning, the Pagwish Conference donated a Nobel Peace Prize medal replica to Nagasaki and Hiroshima to honor effort of cities and hibakushas. It's my pleasure that both cities' efforts were honored by the International Committee. Holding such an auspicious ceremony at this remarkable year would contribute to further advancing a momentum of nuclear disarmament and non proliferation One Hibakusha said, and I quote, the threat of nuclear weapons created by the wisdom of humankind is a serious issue of human survival that cannot be ignored even for a day, unquote. I believe that this issue can be solved by the wisdom of mankind one day in the future. In Russell Einstein Manifest, many well-known scientists, including Dr. Hideki Yukawa, Nobel Prize literature, uh, Nobel Prize uh, laureate in physics, described responsibilities of scientists and citizens for achieving peace. There, there lies before us if we choose continual progress in happiness, knowledge, and wisdom. We have conquered many difficulties through development in science. 
I strongly believe that we will also be able to conquer difficulties which we face in disarmament and non-proliferation. I hope sincerely all of you scientists and experts who are involved in nuclear disarmament and non-proliferation will make the, make the discussion of this conference fruitful towards a world free from nuclear weapons and continuous progress in happiness, knowledge, and wisdom. I wish you meaning, meaningful discussion in this coming five days, which will eventually bear fruits by sending successful outcome from here, Nagasaki, to the world. Thank you very much. どうもありがとうございました。それではあのここでこのえ会議を終えたいと思います。どうもありがとうございました。